Gemini, this will be your edition of Sexy Is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Gemini, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Gemini, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. The energies are fluid. Gemini. As I'm progressing through the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's the link to a free natal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted by way of cash app and by way of a donations link which you will find in the description box below. There will not be an extended to this reading as these readings are very intense and in-depth. All right, Gemini. Oh, before I go here, let's see what energies your person is, you know, or, you know, they're approaching you with because we want to see what's up with Gemini's person, Spirit. Spirit, what energies is Gemini's person approaching Gemini with? What energies is Gemini's person approaching Gemini with? What energies? Clown ass, but I ain't mad at you. Gemini, somebody did something stupid. They did. This person might have did something real stupid. To be loved. I feel like you got a fool in love. That's how I feel. Because equal excitement regarding a love connection. This person might um crack a lot of jokes. You got a fool in love. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Spirit, what energy is Gemini's person bringing towards Gemini? Spiritual growth. Gemini, I feel like your person, something happened in the past, and they could have been upset at you, and then they, like, got out of that. They're like, damn, I just love the Gemini, and they see themselves wrong with you, um, but with this energy of dirty laundry and takeaway, I feel like something was exposed. I do. I feel like some gossip is out here, but... It doesn't matter whatever's being discussed because this person loves you for you. They love you for you. And if you haven't heard from this person, you will be receiving income and communication. I feel like somebody won't contact you, Gemini, and they're going to have something to tell you. And really, it, it can start off as gossip, but really it's because they just want to talk to you, okay? So let's explore these energies a little bit more. There's this clown ass, but I ain't mad at you. Tell me about this clown ass, but I ain't mad at you for Gemini's person. Tell me about this clown ass. Yeah. They still want to grow with you. This person, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm in love with Gemini. They feel like they're determined to fix this. You know, it could have been a third-party situation or something that disrupted this connection, but they're determined to fix this. And this person, it's like they love you, like they have an equal excitement with this connection, okay? They feel like you love them and they love you. Tell me about to be loved for Gemini. Like, they're very excited. Tell me about to be loved. Yeah, they just won't let things flow. This person is going to let things flow. Like, they're just in love with you. They were upset with you. And, I mean, they wanted, with hunger and anger, they wanted to stay mad at you. You know, but I feel like after some break, things healed and worked itself out. And that's why I play on ass, but I ain't mad at you here and they still want to grow. Gemini, your person has spiritual growth. They just see the beauty in you. They see the bigger picture in relation to this connection. Something about spiritual growth. For, okay. Yeah. See, they grew beyond this anger. They don't have this anger anymore. Like, I feel like petty differences are being put aside. With protection, strength, and illumination, I feel like your person is aware this is a strong connection, and they do want to protect it. So we're going to set these energies to the side in case I need to refer to them during the course of the reading. But Gemini, your person is just 
smitten with you. On the crack. You have the five of wands and the queen of swords. This is Libra's energy. I do feel like um someone's facing the truth. They want to cut this drama out. Your person wants to cut this drama out. They want to cut this or these arguments out. They want to cut the competition out. I feel like your person just wants you. One good shuffle for the Gemini. Spirit, what does Gemini's person want to tell Gemini? What is it that Gemini's person want to tell Gemini? Gemini, how your person views you is the Six of Pentacles. How your person feels about you is the Two of Swords. What does your person think of you, Gemini? What's on their mind? The Hermit. Okay, yeah, your person did a lot of soul searching. What's at the root of the matter for your person when it comes to you? The Two of Pentacles. The block is the obstacle, the challenge in the way, Gemini, for your person when it comes to you is the five of pentacles. Y'all not together for those that I'm reading for, or there's some financial difficulty here, and, and this is the potential outcome. Gemini, at the bottom of the deck, the reason for this reading is the eight of swords. Your person feels stuck. They could be afraid of something. What do you have to say? You have the nine of cups. You have the page of cups. And you had the world. So, Gemini, you telling me you will be happy to go back to this person. This is Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus's energy. And this is Pisces energy. Gemini, I feel like that um, although this connection has closed out, I feel like y'all completed a cycle. But you telling me you will be happy to go back. You do look back, okay? But... I don't know if egos are at play here where one of y'all like, no, you, you do it, you do it, you do it, something like that. Gemini, your person views you as the six of pentacles. They view you as not being fair. They do. They view you as like, um, they view you as you might, they just view you as not being fair about something. Or they can view you as giving very little to the connection. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles for Gemini's person. Why does Gemini's person view Gemini as a Six of Pentacles? Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. At the bottom of the deck, you have key. They go that balance again and deception. And Gemini, what you telling me is like, yeah, I know I'm not being fair when it comes to an opportunity. Or it could be vice versa, but this is on your side. You telling me that there, you are keeping some things to yourself. There is a deception and you might be giving it to people. Or that you feel they doing this to you. Well, they view you as doing it. They view you as dating with other people, giving to two people, and that's why it's not fair. They view you as interacting with others, okay? They view you as dating other people. Let's see why they view you as this way. Spirit, why does Gemini's person view Gemini as dating other people, giving to two people? Tell me about this for Gemini. But some of y'all, y'all might be married. Let's see what you had to say, Jim. At the bottom of the deck, you have uncharted territory. Rewrite your love story and unclear. And Gemini, what you're telling me is you're not sure how to, to rebuild this connection. You've never been in this situation before. Well, Gemini, your person views you as their happily ever after, okay? They do view you as their happily ever after, or they could view you as being married or in another connection. But they saying, like, look, this isn't fair. Gemini's dating other people, but I do view Gemini <clears throat> as my ha happy ever after. Spirit, why does Gemini's person view Gemini as happy ever after? Why does Gemini's person view... At the bottom of the deck, you have privileged lady. You have concern and, ooh, two females. So, Gemini, what you're telling me is, is that you're concerned. You're concerned. You do love someone here. You love someone here. 
and you've been this person has been on hold you do want to work with this person and you want to make a decision about them however there is somebody else that you are in a primary connection with if you are a male gemini if you are a female gemini then your person is trying to choose between two people This is definitely a decision-making process here. So there's somebody that's been around and there's somebody that the other one wants. So if you're a male Gemini, you got two females. If you're a female Gemini, your person got a choice between two people. And Gemini, your person views you as already being in a higher level of commitment. And this is what they're thinking about. they like, look, this is not fair. They respect you. They want something more with you. Like, Gemini, this person really wants you. However, they just feel like you got something else going on. Mm, tell me about this for Gemini's person. At the bottom of the deck, you have fairy tale love. You have self reflection and so in love. And Gemini, what you tell me is you are so in love, and you you doing some soul searching about is this realistic? You trying to see if this is realistic? Like, is is this just a dream? Is this really possible? You know, I feel like you weighing things up. Okay, but Gemini, your person view you as not feeling so well. So let's see why they view you as not feeling so well. Your person is like, look, this is not a good situation. Gemini is dating other people, and I want Gemini for myself. They might not be feeling so well. Tell me why this is here that's not feeling so well. Yeah, somebody real emotional. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. And Gemini, you telling me you regret the fact that you lost some money and you want to rebuild it, rebuild your money? Or are you telling me you regret the fact that you lost a wife or a primary partner and you would like to rebuild it with this person? You feel like that um, it was something in the past here that you lost. You're very emotional about it. And you do want this person back. Gemini... With this Queen of Cups, your person is searching their emotions. And what they're searching their emotions about is if they should walk away or not with this Eight of Cups. They feel real emotional about this. So they like, look, I don't feel too good about this. Gemini got somebody else. And it's like they, they tired of waiting with the Seven of Pentacles. They feel like this isn't going anywhere. So let's see what they want to tell you about this. Spirit, mm. Spirit, Gemini's person feels very emotional. They feel like this connection isn't going anywhere. They feel like Gemini had someone else. Tell me about it. Why does this person feel like they want to walk away? It's not going anywhere. I fantasize about kissing you. You are my happy thought. So they feel like y'all not even together. Like, they just view you as like having other options. And when y'all apart, they really want to be with you. And that might be what this energy was about over here. Like, they can't stay mad at you because they love you. Gemini, how your person feels about you, how the, your person feels about you is the two of swords. Your person feels like that they don't have enough information to make a decision. Your person feels like they don't know if you're their soulmate. Your person feels like, you know, they got all this regret. That regret came out again. They regret that, you know, somebody stole some money here. Did you get this person out of some money? Somebody could have lost some money here. Or 
or they regret the fact that you stole their heart or you took something valuable from them. So your person feels like they don't have enough information to make a decision about this connection. And they regret that something was taken. And your person feels like they're stressed over money issues. So I feel like somebody could have stole some money they, or they don't know if you took this money from them or they feel like um, you stole their heart and, their, and the money issue was something separate, but something flipped. Tell me about the stressed over money issues. Tell me about the stressed over, or maybe a person feel like they can't think about love right now. The two of swords came out again. Your person feel like you sabotage this connection, Gemini. They do. And that's why they stuck. That's why they're afraid because they don't know if you're going to do this again. And I'm not saying you really did it, but here go the Eight of Swords again. The Nine of Wands and the Emperor. Some of you are dealing with a Libra Taurus. So, Gemini, your, per your person, you tell me that, um, are you telling me they're acting like a victim? But you're afraid. You're afraid to grow with this person. So they feel like you're afraid to grow with them. They want you. But they feel like the hesitancy is on your behalf. And you are seconding that emotion. Gemini, your person feel like with this two of swords. This two of swords. They feel like they don't know. Like they don't know why you broke their heart. They don't know why you manipulated them. They don't know why you sabotaged them. They feel like y'all had something real good, real happy, and you just sabotaged it. That's what they telling me. They like, I don't know why Gemini did this. I love Gemini. Spirit. Now, it could be vice versa, but they saying that you got other options. Spirit, why does Gemini's person feel like they don't know why Gemini sabotaged this connection? Tell me about what they want to tell Gemini. You are my only love interest and I'm here to stay. So despite all this, they don't know where this is going, but they feel like you're their only love interest and they're here to stay. But they don't know what it is you want. Yeah, and they're saying they dream about you a lot and it arouses them. It always arouses them. Gemini, what your person thinks of you, what they think of you, is the hermit. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. But your person is spending some time, they think like you spending some time alone to do some soul searching, possibly about a marriage. They think you trying to um, learn some lessons. They could have put you in a time out. The person thinks that um, you're trying to figure out a financial situation. They do. They feel like you're trying to protect your money. That's how I feel. I feel like your person think you like, they thinking like Gemini over there trying to protect their money, protect their assets and resources. And that's why they afraid to come towards me because Gemini stand to lose a lot of money. Yeah. See, because they feel like you don't want to lose this money and that you stressed over this money. Okay. Spirit, why does Gemini's person think Gemini is trying to protect their money? Why does Gem... Okay. It's the will of fortune. They do. At the bottom of the deck, you have the four of swords. You have the uh, page of wands. And you have the three of cups. And you like, look, yeah, we got to chill. We're going out. That's what you're saying. We got to chill with going out. You feel like you it, it, you do want to be with this person, but y'all need to chill right now because of some friend group. Because of some friend group. Yeah, you trying to be smart and plan this and prioritize properly. 
It's almost like you don't want somebody to get wind of this. Yeah, yeah. Because with this, you don't want, you fear losing this money or with this, with this two of cups, with this lover. You fear losing this money to someone. Well, Gemini, your person feel like you are alone trying to protect your money. And with this Wheel of Fortune energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy, your person feels like that you change. They thinking you change. And all of a sudden, you got real defensive. Okay, with this Seven of Wands. And you not, you not really doing anything because you don't want to sacrifice this. Okay. So at the root of the matter for your person, Gemini, is this two of pentacles at the root of the matter your person feels like you juggling they feel like you busy you 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 real busy and they at the root of the matter your person feel like like you change this will of fortune like you so busy in relation to your money because you need things to go in your favor at the root of the matter, your person is like thinking, like they like, Jim and I don't want to lose this house or release and let go of this house. You trying to, they think you trying to figure out how not to lose some property or something because you was a sucker for love. So Jim and I, your person feel like you just trying to put your, well, I don't know if that's a bad thing. It's like you trying to keep your finances and your stability in order, and you don't want to be out here being exposed, and you might lose your money or your property. Tell me about this sucker for love. Yeah, you like, yeah, we, yeah, we can't, we can't move, we can't move forward with this right now. That's what your person is saying. Like you like, no. At the bottom of the deck, you have the you have the uh page of pentacles. Here you go, the emperor. This is Aries and Taurus. You trying to okay, you trying to gain control over your money. Yeah, you like look, I gotta take control over this. Cause this one, this one put a a a, a wrench, a monkey wrench in my plans. That's what you're saying. You learned your lesson. Because at the root of the matter for your person is with this four swords, they feel like you're trying to heal some finances. But right now with this chariot energy, some of you done with a cancer, at the root of the matter for your person is like we can't really make any moves because we have to plan with that two of wands. It's like something needs to end first before this new beginning to take place. It's it's a heavy influence of money and losing assets and resources here. Tell me about this two of pentacles. Gemini's person is saying at the root of the matter, Gemini's busy trying to figure out their money and they need to chill. I want to hold you tight in my arms and whisper, I love you. So you might not be really seeing this person because at the bottom is, I miss you so much. My heart and soul are longing to be with you again. Because they feel like you're real busy. you worried about some money, assets, or resources. The block is the obstacle, the challenge, and the way for your person is this five of pentacles. It's like a loss of money here. See this? It's a loss of money or a loss of um, something valuable. The blockage is, it's like you don't feel so good or your person don't feel so good about their money and moving or making these moves and this money ain't right. And that's why they the blockage is that you busy working or they're busy working. Somebody trying to fix their money here. The person is seeing is you. Tell me about busy working being a block. It could have been a loss of a job, finances, but it's a strong financial overtone here. At the bottom of the deck, we have temperance. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. 
death and the nine of cups. And somebody lost their patience. Somebody lost their patience and they was like, I could do this by myself. Somebody just lost their patience. And with this hermit energy, the blockage is somebody looking for the truth. What they looking for the truth about is a third party. And they could have started some arguments like, was you spending my money on that person? Something like that. It's a loss of money here. Somebody like, where does money go? Where's this money? Somebody looking for this money. Somebody looking for this money. They're like, look, somebody trying to protect this money. They're like, I ain't trying to lose my money. Tell me about somebody looking... I feel like it's an argument and somebody looking for proof about third party. I have shed tears over us. You were the only one who could break down the wall I put up around my heart. Trust me, I will reach out soon. Somebody got left to some money situation. Gemini, the potential outcome for you and your person is the five of cups. It's a loss here. It's a loss here. Because somebody don't feel safe. Somebody don't feel safe. They like, mm, -mm. This, I, I can't do this. I regret that I got to turn my back on this. You betrayed me for this three of cups. This three of cups. Somebody turned their back on a soulmate. To face this three of cups. That's why they don't know. If, if y'all still soulmates. They like look. Turn the back on the soulmate. And, and embrace the three of cups. And that's why this walking away is here. Somebody hurt. Somebody hurt. And they like, look, we might as well separate because we not on the same page. Somebody like, I, I put you on a pedestal. I put you on a pedestal. I, I value this connection. And you didn't protect me. You didn't make me feel safe. We not on the same page. Somebody stuck. Some of y'all is not seeing eye to eye in the potential outcome for Gemini's person. Some of y'all is not seeing eye to eye. It might be a marriage here. At the bottom of the deck, you have the six of cups. You have the page of wands and the page of pentacles. I feel like it's something from the past here that was bored up about somebody exploring something new and somebody found out about it. Somebody found out about somebody exploring something new. And with this Empress energy, this is Libra and Taurus's energy. It was a lot of money, abundance here. And with this Hierophant energy, some of you are dealing with a Taurus. I feel like it was a, um, a marriage or a commitment. And somebody wished the other one didn't figure out that someone was given to somebody else with the Six of Pentacles. I do. And that equal 14, so it could have been a Sagittarius. Somebody like, I wish I didn't know that. You was giving to two people. That's what they saying. I don't feel safe. You giving to somebody else. You out here dating other people. Spirit. Tell me about this. This could be the parent of your child or somebody you married to. But they feel like you was giving to somebody else. 
and they don't feel safe. I wear a false mask and pretend not to care because I don't want you to see how vulnerable I really am. Somebody hurt. I know you are sad, but I will make things right between us. So for some of you Geminis, this was done to you. And for some Geminis, this you done this to someone. But Gemini, your person is stuck. They're afraid. They are. Something ended here. Something ended here, but I see somebody wanting to go back. It was a new love. And now somebody just waiting, waiting to see if this reconciliation is going to happen. But I feel like it was something toxic here that caused the ending. That's just how I feel. But they do want you back, but they don't want you to know it. Or you want them back and don't want them to know it. Spirit, what advice do you have for Gemini regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Gemini? Re Spirit, what advice do you have for Gemini regarding this reading? It could be children involved because a lot of pages came up. What advice do you I'm hearing like you ain't got no money for these kids. You can't see these kids. What advice do you have for Gemini regarding this reading? Spirit, what advice do you have for Gemini regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Gemini regarding this reading? Please and thank you. What advice do you have for Gemini? This is over. Gemini, spirit is saying, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. And they want you to remember who you are and to continue to love yourself. Because for some reason, you feel like you're not enough. And it's like you are real insecure right now. And spirit like, no, love who you are. Actively love who you are. Do things for yourself. You are enough. You are enough. Gemini, spirit is saying, act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Spirit, because you, you feel like it's not enough. Because it's somebody you want. You're not getting them back. I'm sorry. All you want, all you left with is these photos, Gemini. Whoever this is, you can't get them back. But with or without them, you are a loving, phenomenal person. Gemini Spirit is saying, treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Like, they want you to change this. They want you to have a deeper connection. But it's somebody you holding on to. And Spirit, like, you want to let that go. Because it's over with the Grim Reaper. It's over. I feel like for some of you, this person transitioned. For some of you, this person transitioned. And you want them back. Spirit wants you to appreciate your current moment and follow the signs that they give you. Because you are so heartbroken. And your person feel like you're stuck in this heartbroken energy. Gemini, 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 this has been your edition of Sexy Is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Gemini, if you would like to be notified the next time I go live and upload a video. Peace, Gemini. Sexy oh. Oh. Yeah, it depends on who the car chooses, leaving emotional bruises, uh, yeah, and when the truth comes out, I know the
these suckers are clueless So better watch your mouth because she really do this There's no need to speak because she